Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Dr. Mike Diotti, a physician in the field of internal medicine and pediatrics. Today we're going to cover everything you should know if you are taking or thinking about taking glipizide. I always like to give a rating to start out the video and glipizide only scores a 5 out of 10 in my book. As you're about to see, it can definitely help lower blood sugar, but has some troubling side effects that knock off some points. Just for reference, I have seen several patients hospitalized because of the side effects of glipizide. In contrast, I have never seen a patient hospitalized because of metformin. I actually recently rated metformin an 8.5 out of 10, and if you're interested in learning more, you can check it out in this video up here. Glipizide is a medication used in the treatment of type 2 diabetes. It falls under a class of drugs known as sulfonylureas. These medications work by helping the pancreas release more insulin, which in turn lowers the body's blood sugar levels. Your doctor may suggest the use of glipizide when other treatments like exercise, diet control, and weight loss are not lowering your blood sugar enough. The first medication usually prescribed is metformin, but glipizide is an option if you're unable to take metformin or if you need another medication to control your blood sugar. Even though glipizide only makes a 5 out of 10 on my personal scale, it does get some points for our rating because it's just as effective of a medication as metformin, lowering your hemoglobin A1c by an average of 1.5. As a reminder, this means dropping your blood sugar by 50. This is pretty good in terms of preventing some of the long-term damage high blood sugar can cause to the body. Unfortunately, it's not all good news because glipizide has some side effects that can be quite worrisome. What side effects have you experienced with glipizide? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so in contrast to metformin, glipizide can cause weight gain. It's complicated even further by the fact that blood sugars are harder to control with someone who weighs more. Many patients with diabetes, especially those with type 2, have a difficult time controlling weight, so I find this medication really difficult to recommend. While many patients can avoid weight gain by paying extra attention to diet and exercise, others seem to be extra sensitive to the weight gaining effects of the medication. If this is true for you, it's worthwhile to talk to your doctor about discontinuing glipizide altogether. In addition to weight gain, glipizide has a very broad range of side effects that include nausea, diarrhea, skin reactions, drowsiness, and more. Most of these other side effects are pretty rare, and I'm talking about 5% or less. The other major side effect that is quite common, however, is hypoglycemia, which is when your blood sugar drops dangerously low. Hypoglycemia can cause symptoms such as weakness, shakiness, nausea, vomiting, headache, lightheadedness, even a coma or seizures if severe enough. We interrupt this video with an important message. If you aren't going too hypoglycemic from watching this video, take a quick second to sub, 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 subscribe down below. If you hit the like button, I will shake your hand and basically be your best friend. All right, let's get back to the side effect of hypoglycemia. Because of the higher risk for hypoglycemia, I thought it would be worthwhile to spend a few minutes discussing it. Take extra precautions when using glipizide during the following circumstances. Be cautious after exercise or when missing a meal, as your blood sugar will be running on the lower side already. Be careful when your medication dose is on the higher side, and we'll talk about dosing shortly after this. Drinking alcohol can actually lower your blood sugars, so it can be dangerous to take it at the same time as glipizide. In addition, being intoxicated with alcohol can make you unaware of the symptoms of hypoglycemia. 
This medication is processed in the liver and excreted through the kidneys in the urine. Damage to either of these organs may mean that the medication stays in your system longer than expected, which could drop your blood sugar too low. There are certain medications that can potentiate the effects of glipizide, meaning that it'll make the blood sugars even lower. Take extra precaution if you were recently discharged from the hospital. And perhaps most importantly, patients who are elderly, malnourished, or debilitated may not be aware of the symptoms of hypoglycemia, meaning that it can become fatally low before any care is initiated. Again, I have seen several patients hospitalized because of glipizide, specifically because of this side effect, hypoglycemia. Because the medication lasts for at least 24 hours in your body, and as we said, even longer if there's any kidney or liver injury, the effects can last longer than expected. If you are still interested in glipizide, it's a medication that can be taken once or twice a day and should be taken 30 minutes before a meal for the best effect. Dosing usually starts at 2.5 milligrams and can be increased to a maximum of 40 milligrams. However, dosages over 20 milligrams usually don't add too much of a benefit. Another discouraging fact about glipizide is that if it's used over a long period of time, the effectiveness may start to decrease. On the flip side, we do have a positive note in that glipizide costs only about 50 cents to a dollar per pill. So yes, my rating for glipizide comes in at a 5 out of 10. If you and your doctor do decide glipizide is right for you, and you can be very careful and watching out for signs of lower blood sugar, it can make an effective change in your fight against diabetes. Otherwise, it can be an outright dangerous medication to take and can have some unwanted effects as well, including weight gain. At the end of the day, there are a lot of other medications available for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. And in my personal opinion, many of the other medication options outweigh the risks of glipizide. That being said, the decision for what medication is right for you should always be decided in discussion with your doctor or pharmacist. As always, ask your doctor or pharmacist if you have any questions regarding your medical care. Thank you for watching the video. I would love if you took a quick second to sub, 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 subscribe down below. Hit the notification bell and I will see you on the next video. We're going under, there's nothing we can do. The final hour before we let it go to rest. It's such a heartbeat.